One thing I am really optimistic about um, is trying to create a kind of common ground, you know, meeting place for different AI perspectives. I mean, I've always tried to do that. My feed is like often very practical and at times like very heady, either, you know, looking at things like possibility of AI consciousness or, you know, big picture safety questions, like could this stuff really get out of control on us? How would we know if we're kind of losing our grip? Um, and I think there's been some unhealthy dynamics in the AI space between people who are concerned about that kind of stuff and people who think that's fanciful, partly because it was pretty theoretical, you know, and the, the kind of critique from the people that say we don't need to worry about it is we have no evidence for that. It's not really happening. You guys are just like getting ahead of yourselves. Mm -hmm. Over time, I would say more evidence is coming in. The safety, the people that have been worried about the safety concerns are increasingly validated, you know, that there is really something there. And that was a part of my talk today, too, just looking at all these increasingly colorful examples of bad behavior from AI systems, some of which are like really shocking, honestly. And, you know, like Anthropic just posted, um, you know, news recently about Claude Four having blackmailed an engineer in one test, right, yeah. having. Uh, done a whistleblowing thing, uh, which honestly might be good or bad, depending on how you think about it, because the, in that test, the people were doing something bad, you know, and that, so the AI was like reporting them to the authorities. It's not clear that, it's honestly not clear what we should want the AIs to do. Mm -hmm. Like, should we want the AIs to tell the authorities if people are doing something really bad or not? I don't even really have a clear answer to that. But anyway, these things are starting to happen, and I'm hopeful that as you know, part of the sort of extended A16Z family, I can kind of have one foot in both camps and try to bring people together and really just reckon with the latest evidence, you know, because I think that is the only, you, you can be theoretical on one side or the other, you know, you could say, mm -hmm. well, we have reason, theoretical reason to believe, oh, but we have no evidence, but evidence is starting to come in. And so hopefully I can kind of be a, a bridge between, you know, what were opposing theoretical camps, but now on both sides, you know, yeah. there is the need to kind of grapple with reality as it's uh, really beginning to unfold in front of us. Well, Nathan, I think you're the per perfect person to do that. So I'm, I'm looking so. forward to uh, seeing the growth of uh, your podcast uh, with Turpentine and A16Z now. And thank you so much for being a part of the Imagine AI Live conference here. It's been a pleasure uh, talking with you prior and having you here, seeing you now in person. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's been fun. Yeah.